Hello everyone. It's great to see you here again. Um, I'm beginning today with my little series of videos on the book of Esther. And last time I was talking to you, I told you that I just love this book in the Bible. And I do. I really like the character of Esther. I mean, one of the things that really appeals to me about this book is the fact that the hero of the story is a woman. And you know, we see it throughout the scripture so often that in a, a, a culture where women were um, did not have a voice, that the Lord gave his voice to the humble, that the Lord used the humble. We see it right throughout the scriptures. And here we have a woman, Esther, who um, was destined for a life as a, a, a nameless concubine in a, the palace of a Persian king. And she became the vessel which God used to do his will and his purpose and to save a nation. I think it's a great story and I hope you share my enthusiasm for it. You know, the book of Esther actually is a very unusual book. In fact, it's unique within the Bible because the Lord is never explicitly mentioned in it, not even once. In fact, the reformer Martin Luther, way back in the um, 1500s was very hostile to this book because God wasn't mentioned. But I want to tell you that God is in every line of this story. I want to tell you that this book is teeming with implicit references to the Lord. I mean, if you, you were just to, to do a casual reading of this book, you would find that it is full of coincidence. But in fact, there's not one single coincidence in the story of Esther. Not one. Because we're not, what we see here is not luck. It is God at work. You see, all these coincidences, there's not one of them that is a coincidence. If we look at the story, we find that Queen Vashti was angered the king and she was deposed from her position as queen. No coincidence. God's plan. We find that when the king wanted a new queen, he decided to defy royal tradition and to scar the land for the most beautiful young girls that he could bring into his harem instead of choosing a, a daughter of noble birth. No coincidence. We find that Esther, out of all those young women who were chosen, that Esther is favoured by all in the palace and is loved by King Ahasuerus above all the women. No coincidence. No coincidence that the king fell in love with Esther. No coincidence that the king made her his queen. No coincidence. And if we, we could go right throughout the book, we could go over and over coincidence after coincidence. And I'm telling you that none of these things happened by chance. I'm telling you that the Lord Almighty ordained every single one of them because it is God. It was God, not coincidence, not luck, not the Persian emperor, not anyone else who was in control, but God was in control. And I'm telling you, my friend, today that God is still in control, that God is in control of your life, that God is in control of your country, that God is in control of this world. No matter what your problem is today, no matter what your situation, no matter what you are facing in your life, I am here today to tell you that God is in control. Esther walked in to the presence 
of the king of Persia uninvited. She told her cousin Mordecai that the law of the land was that if anyone entered the presence of the king, no matter who they were, high or low, that they would be immediately put to death unless the king deigned to hold out his royal scepter to them. And Esther walked in to the presence of the king. But when he saw her, Ahasuerus held out the scepter and invited her to come to him. You see, Esther knew that God was in control. She said, I will go into the presence of the king and if I perish, I perish. She went in knowing that her God was in control, that no one could put her to death unless God had allowed it. But look, she was spared. And not only was she spared, but she was given the ability to save her whole nation. And I want to tell you, my friend, that no matter what you're afraid of, no matter what you're facing this day, God is in control and he will bring you through for his honour, for his glory and for your good. Put your trust in him. Put your faith in him. Lean on him. Rest in him. Your God is in control.